Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here this afternoon. On behalf of my fellow trustees, uh, many of whom are here after uh, two days of meetings, uh, I'd like to also add words of welcome to those that have already been extended. President Rauch uh, mentioned the trustee challenge in his remarks, and I want to add to what he said by mentioning that I'm privileged to represent uh, such a dedicated group of, of men and women. When the discussion uh, first started about the trustee challenge uh, back early in 2007, uh, economic conditions were certainly a lot rosier than they are today. And I think it's a, it's a real testimony uh, to my colleagues on the board and their commitment to our college uh, that they've held the course when others have, might have done otherwise. And now I'd like to tell you a short story about Young Hall as it represents one of the turning points in my life. Now it's not this Young Hall, it's predecessor, one that was here uh, 52 years ago when I was a freshman on this campus and lived in Breck Hall right over there. Like most people that come here at age 18, uh, I had no idea uh, what I wanted to be. But I'd always been mechanically inclined, so I thought I would take freshman physics. And the physics department was in the basement of the old Young Hall. And my professor was Dr. Ritchie, who was the head of the department. And his personal attention to me was something I had never experienced in school before. I went to a fairly large public high school. And by the end of the year, I had decided to major in physics. Now, being a physicist has a very nice ring to it, and it was uh, certainly something that I thought that my family uh, would approve of. Now, the obvious question is, is why did I end up being a marketing major and a businessman? Well, the story actually goes back to before I came here to center. Uh, again, I was in a large public high school. Um, there was really only one good math teacher. And this lady, her name was Mrs. Gertz, and she was a very severe lady. And frankly, the levels of discipline uh, were much higher then than they are today. And I got caught talking in her class, and I got kicked out of her class permanently. So I got assigned to a, a lesser math teacher, and the reality was, and that's when I got here to center, I was pretty far behind in math. So in order to take physics uh, my sophomore year, in order to major in physics in my sophomore year, I was going to have to take uh, trigonometry and third year algebra that I had skipped when I was in high school. So the next fall, uh, I enrolled in those courses uh, with the goal of getting caught up on in math and majoring in physics. At the same time, I also started living in the Sigma Chi house. I was very active in Rush. I was Hell Week chairman. I was on a lot of the party committees, uh, plus I worked on my laundry route. Now you all know the story. It's an old story. I enjoyed economics, statistics, and business law and I dropped my math classes. No more physics. And Dr. Ritchie had really given me a lot more attention uh, than I deserve. And he was justifiably disappointed when I told him that I was not going to major in physics. It was difficult for me to tell him that. I really felt like I had let him down. So today is, is perhaps my ability to convey my thanks for his efforts. Uh, obviously, I can't do that personally to him because he's long since passed away. Uh, but I'm able to do it to the science that he loved. And as trustees here uh, at Center, uh, we treasure our faculty, uh, the, the professors that are here now and the ones like Dr. Ritchie that were here years ago. It's up to us to do our part to provide, you know, the kind of facilities that you look at right here, uh, like this expansion of Young Hall, uh, so that our faculty can have a first-class environment and to provide the same kind of attention to students 
you know, that I enjoyed here uh, so many years ago. As trustees, it's our obligation to do everything we can to ensure that the center remains steadfast to its tradition of personal attention to students. And in closing, uh, I would like to recognize the work that was done by the faculty, the staff, and the students uh, deliberating the vision uh, for this addition to Young Hall. Also to our appreciation for the good works that was done by Hastings and Chevetta and our friends at ARCO that helped bring that vision into reality. We can all take great pride in center today. It's a great day for our college. You can look around our campus and see how it's been transformed over the last 10 years. And if I can borrow uh, one of John Roush's uh, favorite phrases, I'm confident that uh, center's best days are still ahead. And as a perhaps a, uh, a final postscript to uh, my physics story, I think Dr. Ritchie would be proud uh, that our son looks like he's going to finish a degree in physics at Rice University this coming May. Yeah, unlike his dad, our son did not fall behind in math.